we're, we're here to, to, to help share education. Um, and I think it, it, it's helpful for people to kind of get out of the emotion and just talk about historically going through um, the, the, like, the blocking and tackling of yeah. racism in yeah. this country. Yeah. Um, and like, so how do we get here? And, and no one needs to be convinced that pre-Civil War, so pre-1860, that uh, that this country wasn't racist. We literally, no way. There, we, we literally, <laughs> um, uh, you know, did not count population correctly <laughs> because we only counted, you know, three-fifths of Wait the minute, slaves. Wait a minute, me being three-fifths of a human uh, being was, right. was racist? Right. I thought that was just, like, right. numbers. Was, right, yeah, okay. it's just a numbers okay. thing, dude. Okay. It's okay. an electoral college thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> post-1865, everyone celebrates the white man from the north liberated <laughs> the black man yeah. living on plantation. Yep, yeah, yep. Um, Hooray. There's so much wrong with that statement, mm -hmm. so we'll just move on because if... if yeah. They don't um, get it. They're not ready. <laughs> um, so, but after... Um, after after slavery is repealed, mm -hmm. um, we enter uh, almost mm -hmm. a uh, redistribution of wealth. Reconstruction period. Um, and... Um, and at that moment, um, after Lincoln is assassinated, a Southern vice president takes power. Lincoln had every yeah. um, intention of actually redistributing wealth. Yeah, so yeah. every American acres that uh, like believes that Lincoln is the hero of all, <laughs> um, and and he was a a, a very for his time mm -hmm. an incredibly forward thinking president. Mm -hmm. um, and he he planned on redistributing the wealth. Mm -hmm like a lot of people would be suggesting today. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so, but he dies tragically um, and his vice president takes over it. And then actually reconstruction is like instituted yeah. um, where uh, at that point in time, you know, we have these reconstruction laws coming into place. We have sharecropping mm -hmm. really come into practice. That peonage. So yeah. without land and, um, and resources given to, these millions of slaves mm -hmm. they have no resources to create a life for themselves yep. and so we create a a new form of slavery in sharecropping yep. to uh, with the promise of of freedom and the promise of self-governorship but with the reality that it was all the it was a stack deck against yep. um every slave who yep. took on yep. um sharecropping as a, as a means to provide for themselves real quick can i just give people Please. the sharecropping sharecropping is the idea that dan is a plantation owner John is now free. Dan is like, hey, I got these fields out here that need tilling. This soil that needs overturning. I'm going to let you work my field. You're free. You're no longer a yeah. slave. But if you want to do it for yourself, you can buy these seeds for me. You can buy this hoe for me, that tool, right? You can buy the mule. You can buy whatever you need, but you're going to have to pay me back. Yep. Oh, the end of the year, you didn't yield enough crop. Dang, you still owe me this money. Well, let's try it again next year. So you get in the system where every year you, you're still, you, you, you're free. But you're stuck in a position where you can never overcome your debt because you always owe this man something. Yep. Right. So that's just quick. And just, there's interest. And there's interest. So it compounds. And it might get so, passed hey, on man, to your I'm, kids. I'm, I'm helping you. And, I'm trying. And I'm trying to help you. And I got to put a little interest on that because I got to <laughs> help me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah it, it, it's a stack deck. Yeah. Um, and it was never intended um, for success. It was really the re-enslavement of a labor force yeah. that these plantation owners lost. Yeah. Um, and so they figured out a, a system to keep those, that labor yeah. force there yep. under a different guise and a different system. Yep. And, um, it was a minute step forward that yeah. really led to, um, alcoholism, yeah. um, in the black community that had never really like drank yeah um yeah. Well, i can drink that now <laughs> like oh. they, they they the depression yeah. um and the like th from the very beginning the broken homes that existed because men were trying to provide for their families mm -hmm. and couldn't mm -hmm. um they felt free and now it was their fault that yeah. they couldn't do it which was yeah. not true, not true. but yeah. but perception yeah um so then after sharecropping after after the that whole practice kind of really falls apart you have the industrial the industrial revolution yep. that takes place um uh and basically the mass exodus from the south mm -hmm. of um uh, of previously slaved peoples mm -hmm. um to the north to quote unquote better paying jobs mm -hmm. um and the institution of separate but equal mm -hmm. and jim crow mm -hmm. um and 
Jim Crow is the next form of slavery, mm-hmm. um, and uh, and that really carries us. And if you need to know about Jim Crow, like give them five seconds on Jim Crow. Laws. Jim Crow and black codes. So it's black clothes and Jim Crow basically were things like if you didn't cross the street when a white man was coming towards you you get arrested right if you spit on the sidewalk if you look at a white woman in their eyes like you know all these different literal black codes and jim crow laws that were specifically aimed towards putting black people in jail because of 13th amendment 13th amendment says black people are free unless they commit a crime and once you commit a crime you're a slave again and so that's a whole nother conversation i don't know if we get into the systems or not but like literally these codes existed just to lock you back up right can't spit on the sidewalk right. can't look at a white woman and i can't you right know, all that stuff. and then um, you have this the kind of the imprisonment of um, uh, black males yeah. to a degree to run chain gangs yeah. back on the plantations yep. that had just lost all their workforce yep. again yep. Um, through the industrialization That's it. Um, and so you, if you follow the money and the consistent need of this country for free labor yeah. uh, or cheap labor uh-huh. you'll consistently see the systems and the means with which uh, this country processes you didn't say NCAA that. did you no, okay, I that's another story for another we day. Get, we, we're going to ten. Y'all got it. Right. We're, we're, we can get there. Um, <laughs> we stand on the right side of history on that one that's too. It, I think. That's it. Um, so then, after Jim Crow um, is uh, is repealed by the Civil Rights Act, mm-hmm. um, separate but equal is is basically denied by the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Um, it cannot exist. Um, we uh, just right after Martin Luther King is assassinated, we kind of enter from there to where we are today. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a lot of people think that that's where racism ended. Of course it did. Uh, when they put MLK in that ground, racism it, just eradicated. It was like fertilizer. His yep. body was fertilizer for racism and it just disappeared. Like Chaffed. It was, it was it. That was it. That was it. Um, but that's where we get this very creative, very industrialized, industrialized new Jim Crow. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is where most of my f- like white friends and i'll talk to you directly now mm. like stopped learning in high school mm. that's where high school stops teaching about mm. racism um and you may be even convinced that because we've had a black president that all things mm. must now be mm-hmm. equal black african half white american but it's all good <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> right um but the one drop rule dude. Yeah, one yeah, drop yeah, he's rule. in there he's in there um <laughs> uh so the point though becomes that w- w- that legislature legislators and lawmakers in this country get very creative mm-hmm. um, with how to maintain a separate and different separate <laughs> and not equal um, uh, development of this country yeah um, you have two things which uh, you'll hear we use in common vacuum now but are actually associated with the new Jim Crow redlining and mm-hmm. black labeling mm-hmm. so um, or blacklisting excuse me so redlining is the practice um, of basically grouping um, uh, African Americans together mm-hmm. and underdeveloping those areas mm-hmm. uh, so that the community money isn't being poured in. Mm-hmm. That's why you have property taxes funding schools when you live in areas that the that property taxes are lower because of their lower income. Uh, then the schools are also lower lower yeah. funded. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Anything else? I mean, we can go on and on about redlining, but yeah. anything else you want to add there? No, that's it. it was just an intentional design to keep people in their place, keep them on their side of town, and make sure that public funds didn't get to them. 